So let's come here. First, we're going to start with the contract. So open this one, open the contract. And now we're going to start working with our address contract of the function is the contract or it's an address. So that's the very important contract we have to deal with it. And no matter what project you will find on the Ethereum mainnet or testnet, and in the real world project, you will find that they use particular contract, which allow us to find out that who is interacting with the smart contract. So let's build that library. So we there is a multiple libraries available which you can use it. But I want to make my library a little custom. And that's why we're going to try it together to build this library address library. So we have to import the license identifier on license and we're going to take the solidity version is going to be 8.9 make sure to take the exact one then we have to call the library because we are building the library and we're going to call this address and then we're going to build a couple of functions actually a lot of function we have to build so first thing come here we're going to take the function we're going to call say is contract so in that we're going to pass the contract and then it's going to trigger all the function we're going to have inside this library so we'll say is contract address the account we have to pass then this function will be internal view boolean so i'm going to write the so this function will return whether the address is the contract or a owner address then we'll return the code dot length if it's greater than zero then it will be written either true or false that's the simple checks we are doing let's come here let's write the second function we'll call it send value so it will be a payable recipient and we have to define the amount it's going to be an internal function then we'll say required address this this means the contract address its balance should be greater or equal to the amount otherwise we have to throw this error message simple function we have here then we have to do the transfer of the fund so recipient call and we're going to pass the amount if it returns the true then we have to say unable to send the value if it's written false otherwise we have to make the transaction so what we are doing in this particular function we are taking the recipient and the amount we are checking for the balance so when he tried to call this and withdraw the fund from the contract his balance is greater than the amount so that's the first check after that we are making the transfer for transfer the fund after that we are simply transferring the fund to the recipient if everything goes well, then we have to transfer the fund. Otherwise, we have to throw the error message. So we are done with the second function. Let's write the third one. We'll say function, function call. We have to target the address. Then we have to provide the bytecode, the data, internal, return. And it's going to return the bytecode memory. And here, bytecode is quite convenient to pass the data into the function because it will cost you less gas fee in comparison of the string so that's what we have here now we have to build the logic so first we have to return we'll return this particular function so we'll say function call i'm giving the same name you can give it there is no issue with that so i'll say target data and we have to throw this particular message low level call failed so this is the error message we want to throw whenever the transaction get failed now we have to build this particular function so we'll say function call function call and in that we have to receive the data which we have sent so first thing the address is the target the second thing is the bytecode memory data and the third thing is the message string error so these are three inform three information we're going to take inside this function then we have to build the logic internal return and it's going to return the bytecode now we can come here we return the function call with value and it will take a couple of parameters it will take the target data and zero and the message and again this function is going to be the internal one you can build the entire logic in the same function but that's going to be a quite big so it's always important that you have to break down the entire function into a multiple function so that would be very easy to read and that's what exactly we follow in the industry so that's the thing you have to keep in mind that's why we have defined so many internal function so these are the information we're going to pass it down and now we have to build this particular function function call with value so come down here, we'll take a function, function call with value. And inside that we have to receive this three information, address target. Then we have to take the data, which is the byte code. Then we have to take the UNT value and we have to take the value, value. And we call this internal returns and we're going to return the byte memory. So these are the things we are returning. Now come here, we'll take this return function call with value. So that's the function we have to build and that we have to pass this information target data value and the error message 
looks pretty good come here and now we have to build this particular function function call with value we have to receive this particular data so we'll have the address target we'll have the bytecode data then we'll have the unt variable and then we'll have the particular message internal returns bytecode memory and we'll have to simply return this then we have to check for the balance and then we have to throw the error message we are building this multiple function because some of the function we're going to call it and some of the function it's it's better to have there because we are building the entire library which can deal with the entire addresses okay so that's the entire library i'm building but we're going to use few of the function and this is the exact library which we are building it's fully customizable and you can use it in any project so this one is designed for the staking but you can do a little bit modification in terms of value in terms of messages in terms of data and you can use any project so this one is going to be your forever use contract now we have to call our is contract in that we have to pass the target means the address and we'll say address called to be non-contract and then we have to do the success okay so if the transaction is going to be the success one then we have to call that otherwise we have to call this particular verified function verified results so we're going to simply call this verify call result and in that we have to simply pass the success return data and the error message now come here let's let's try to build this particular function function static call okay and that we have to pass the address the byte code and it's going to be internal view byte code memory that's what we're going to return from it and then we can come here we'll return this function static call and we have to pass these data so the target and the data and we have to throw the error message low level failed call so this is the another function now we have to build this particular function function static call and we can take the address target we'll take the data which is in the byte format and then we have to take the error message and we can say internal view return and we'll say byte code memory we have to return this is contract and we have to return the address which is going to interact with we'll say address statics call to none contract and then we have to simply make the transaction so if it's written with this data then we'll say target the static call data return verify call result and we have to pass the three information into that and that's the only thing we have to do hope you guys have understood what we are doing we are following this general pattern but different for different use case so once we are checking for the statics one we are checking for the balance one we are checking for the user whether the contract is the address of the contract or is a user address so that's the result we are building just code along with me everything will make sense when everything will come together and we're going to use in our contract so it's a it's a library so let's write the function so we'll say function delete delegate calls it needs a couple of information it needs the address the byte code actually the information and we're going to return this byte memory then we have to simply return the function call delegate calls target data and we have to display the message low level delegate call failed let's build this particular function function delegate calls and we'll take this address target we'll take the byte memory data we'll take the string memory error message and it's going to be internal return view and it's going to return this particular message in byte codes let's do the checks so we'll say contract address and we'll say delegate call to none contract and we'll take this data so, we'll, so we have to make the transaction so byte memory return target delegate calls we have to pass the data and then we have to simply return this particular function verify call result and that's what we have to simply pass here so i believe that you guys have understood the pattern that how you can build the library and how exactly it's work okay just code along with me every single thing will make sense when we're going to combine all this contract together and we're going to use it in our application let's come here let's build a function called verify call result so this is the function we have written internally a lot of times and now we have to build that one so let's come here we have to simply take this boolean success and 
we'll take this bytecode memory return data and we'll take the error message so these are the things we need we're going to call it internally pure because this will look up the status of the result and it's going to return this particular memory so we'll say if success the transaction is success then we have to return this return data else we have to simply come here and we have to say that if return data length is greater than zero then then we'll take this assembly let return data size is model dot return data so this is the special keyword is available in solidity to define and target the m loaded return data and you can build a logic on that but i would like to go with a simple approach just follow along with me so that's what we have here now we'll take this revert and we have to throw this error message so on saturday i have uploaded a video in that i've explained that how you can revert and throw the error message in the contract with the parameters so that's what i'm doing here we are using this reward and we are defining this add 32 return data and the return size so that's the information we are trying to throw from this particular reward now simply block close this if else statement now we'll say else revert error message and close this one close this one close this one so this is the entire piece of contract we have written. So this is the very first function we have in that we are checking that account.code.length is greater than zero means this will return either true or false. This is the send function. This is the function call and this is the function call we have built. Inside that we have this function call with value function call with value. So it's pretty huge function. And here we have the statics static call. And we have this delicate calls then we have the delicate calls here we are checking for the transfer then we are verifying the transaction with this multiple condition so this is the library we have designed for this addresses i have done a little bit modification from my end but this is the general convention you will follow when you will look at the contracts in different platform when they use the library okay so this is the entire piece of code we have written and that's the only thing I want to cover in this video. Hope you guys have understood that how you can design your own library through custom error and we're going to use it extensively in our project. So let me close this one.